Hey guys, Guy Level here, and today I'm gonna be giving you a bunch of tips for using Streamlabs OBS, so let's go! Okay, before we start, if you guys didn't know, Streamlabs Creator Sites now has a monthly payment option. That's right, you don't have to pay per year now, you can pay per month. And if you still use my link in the description, you're still getting a promo code. It's not gonna be $20, it's gonna be $10. Just click on the link and figure it out. Obviously, you're gonna be paying way less if you choose the yearly option, but hey, the monthly option was something that people asked, so... Streamlabs, give it. Okay, let's start with the tips. First one is gonna seem obvious, but you have no idea how many people are asking me this every single day. So to show your chat inside of Streamlabs OBS, you gotta click on that little arrow on your right. Boom, chat, chat is here. If your chat is not showing, or if you're not even sure which chat is showing, make sure you click on your name top here and you log in with the account that you need the chat to show off. If I'm logged in with my Twitch account, this is my Twitch chat. If I'm logging in with my YouTube account, it's gonna be my YouTube chat. They recently added undo and redo buttons. That means if you mess up somehow and you move something that you didn't want to move in the first place, like I just did here, um, you can just click and it's back. You can also use Control Z to undo and Control Y to redo. A dooby dooby doo. Next step is also going to be about copy pasting, but inside your source list. So if you right click on a source and you click uh, copy, then you right click anywhere else. You will have two options for Control V. You will have paste reference or paste duplicate. If you press Control V, it will paste a reference, and then you have to actually right click and click paste duplicate if you want a duplicate. What is the difference between reference and duplicate? Reference means that anything that you Will apply to any of those particular sources will affect all of them why would you use a reference for example in my full screen i have this camera right but i also have a zoomed in camera oh hi that is a reference if i apply a filter to the normal camera like i love doing hey and then I show the big camera, it's going to be the same filter on both listed sources. Then what is a duplicate? A duplicate is basically cloning the source, but the second source has nothing to do anymore with the first one. It's unique. That means if you apply effects to the duplicated, to the duplicated source, it won't affect the original source. Why would you use that? Let me show you. If you're adding your stream labels, for example, you will probably go to add source, uh, figure out stream label, boom, add source. Okay, so I have my source here. And to make everything look pretty, you're going to double click, you're going to select the font size, you're going to select the specific font, you're going to add your filters and all of that. Now, instead of doing this over and over again and going add and new and, and trying to make everything match, you can just right click on this, copy it, right click anywhere else, paste duplicate. Now you have a second one. The filters don't go on the second one. And all you have to do now is double click on this one and then choose whatever, um, let's say 30 day top donor boom look at that in a couple seconds you already have your formatted second stream label basically if you want to copy the filter over you know it's the exact same settings you can just right click here copy filters right click here paste filters easy labels <laughs> lock your sources i know when adding sources you're clicking around you're trying to move stuff and then you accidentally move things that you don't want to move i wanted to move my camera i ended up using my uh moving my a chat box or something if that was locked that would never happen let me redo or oh, undo sorry and then lock it and now if i click my camera is also my camera is also locked so i can't move that either now i can select whatever is unlocked whatever i know i'm gonna be uh moving around like my uh cheer thing Boop. that one is really cool you can actually crop stuff by holding alt on your keyboard Oh, look at that i am being cropped and you can stretch stuff by holding shift i'm a long boy to a wide boy that's really important when you try to fit your camera in some sort of camera overlay that you bought or you downloaded from gumroad.com slash get level so instead of asking the designer to make a, a camera if you can make a camera overlay that matches you perfectly you can make your camera match that camera overlay a little tip with sources if you want them to show up and not restart every time you click on the specific scene for example i have a starting soon screen and i have my chat here and if you just did that for the first time you just added a chat box chances are every time you go back to that scene uh your chat is going to disappear in order to keep it there forever basically um and not have an empty chat every time you switch scenes what you need to do is double click on it go to sources and settings click source and make sure that those two boxes are not ticked so short down source when not visible refresh browser when scene becomes active if you're adding text to a scene just add source click text add source 
Whatever. And then you would type your text. You would correct your mistake. You should always have the font size to be way bigger and then you can scale it down if you have to. That way, you're making sure that this is going to stay a high quality text. If you don't do that and you left and you left it super small, this is what it's going to look like. So if you try to make it way, way bigger. Oh, look at that. This is garbage quality. So add big text from the properties and then scale it down, not the opposite. In order to add a timer at the beginning of your stream, there are so many options available. All you have to do is go on Google and type timer for streamers or timer browser source. For example, the first result is twitchtimer.com. Just click on it. Okay, let's click try. Sorry, this is in French, but whatever. All you have to do is log in with your Twitch account and then boom, here you have all of the information that you can add to your timer. That means you can create a very cool looking timer or a very simple one. Then once you're done, all you have to do is here, you have the URL. All you have to do is just copy it. And once you're back inside Streamlabs OBS, you click uh, add a browser source, boom, okay, call it timer, and just paste the link right there where it says URL. And now my weird looking timer is here. And then at some point you should be good. I don't use timers. I, I, I really don't like the whole browser source thing. I hope Streamlabs comes up. Maybe Streamlabs has an option that I don't know about. If you guys have a better timer, please leave it in the comment section below because this is frustrating. There's too many options uh, and it's, it's just annoying. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Another question I get asked is chat is displaying to the right. What if I want chat to display to the left? So all you have to do is go to option appearance and right here where it says show li the live doc chat on the left side you click and boom your chat is on the left side congratulations all right let's put it back to the right that looks weird okay so when it comes to moving things in streamlabs obs you will realize that they're snapping enabled that means like if you get close to the edge for example it will like jump to the edge it will also jump to other you see this it also snaps to other sources and sometimes you don't want that you're trying to move the thing uh, uh, precisely to a location and you don't want it sna snapping to anything else so uh first advice is use your your key your arrow key on the keyboard if you want to move things pixel by pixel okay second advice is if you want to still use your mouse you can go to settings and and right here you can disable uh the snapping so you untick this untick that untick that or you can also have like a precise sensitivity for the snapping if you want to i'm gonna leave it on i like it another cool option you have with streamlabs is that you can export your overlay packs pretty much the way you have all of your scenes and your sources plus your overlays you can export that all you have to do is go to settings scene collections and then export overlay file it's going to give you one file that is a dot overlay file i recently started experimenting with those when i sell my overlay packs on gumroad.com slash get level uh, basically they're one click install so you don't have to to have a headache or anything all you have to do is replace your camera sources and your game capture source and stuff like that but otherwise all the labels everything is already in place uh, for example the digital pack actually includes a dot overlay file so if you bought that or if you're gonna buy that well yeah you can just double click on that file and then boom install it uh you can actually go to the settings go to import overlay instead of export and then import that one uh, dot overlay file and then boom everything is in place another option about chat is better twitch tv emotes now if you guys don't know what better twitch tv is you should probably watch my other video on that but you can also get your own custom emotes using better twitch tv and you don't even have to be affiliated so if you want those uh emotes to show up in your chat inside of streamlabs obs you can drop them in and they show up but they don't do that automatically so you have to go to options you have to go to appearance i believe yes and you have to click here to enable better twitch tv emotes uh, i disabled it so it refreshes the chat now i'm gonna enable it back you can also enable frank your face z emotes for twitch if you don't know what frank your face is google it and while we're up there if you want to blow your eyes out boom light mode oh my god okay <laughs> and then also the chat size so let me actually get some text in there oh yeah there is a weird bug with this when i have frank your face and better twitch tv emotes at the same time it usually uh, bugs out and doesn't show me the better twitch tv emote anymore streamlabs if you're watching you're probably watching uh that's weird but okay i don't use franker face emotes anyway so i don't really care i just have it off usually but yeah and then the chat size you can make chat real small or you can make it real big my monitor is a huge tv so i keep it i keep it 125 and i'm also aging 
And that's it. That was a bunch of uh, Streamlabs OBS tips and tricks uh, that you can use for like your kibacha papa. -pa -pa. That was a bunch of tips and tricks for Streamlabs OBS. Uh, if you do not use Streamlabs OBS yet, or if you are thinking about it, or if you're using a different program, consider switching to Streamlabs OBS. Uh, try it out. It's free. Okay. See if it's good for you. And uh, I have an affiliate link in the description. It's completely free for you, but I'm getting a little bit of money if you decide to download it from my link. So please do it. I have some crazy overlays and a new transition pack. That just came out recently on gumroad.com slash gal level transitions for your streams because i didn't touch i didn't even talk about transition during this video but anyways thank you guys so so much for watching i wish you guys later go out there make me proud daddy level out